express our love the way we feel loved. So, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we, we talk about the five love languages, and we know that God is bigger than that. But if I had a love language and it was affection, I would... Okay, yep. I'm sorry, I was trying to see what it's in the line. I'm just go ahead. Okay. So if if I had a love language and if and it was just affection, I'm going to be affectionate towards you mm -hmm. because that's how I need love. Mm -hmm. You might not need me to touch on you. Yeah, you might need right. me to give you a gift. Right. So with that, we express touching, love. Though. Right. Mm -hmm. We express love the way we receive love, mm -hmm. not necessarily the way the other person wants to or needs to receive love that's how i can say i love you but you don't feel loved by me and that's strong and, and, and you got to check that out if, if you hear nothing else write that down check that out with your spouse with your family like do you feel loved by me i say it i hug you kiss you on the forehead but do you feel loved by me because because if you don't talk about that that will cause you to withdraw because I'm loving you and you act like I don't love you. I'm giving to you, you act like I ain't doing nothing. And, and what they're really saying is, you say you love me, but I don't feel loved by you. Because what I need, how I need love demonstrated, you're not doing that. And you don't get to tell me how to be loved. And I won't know unless you tell me. Unless yeah. you tell me. So family is where we learn how to love. If you're a believer, you learn how to walk in the fruit of the spirit um, um, in family.